Okay, having a look at a rate of change question now. So we've got a graph down here that represents the temperature as a cup of coffee cools over a period of time, t minutes. We've got some coordinates on our curve and we've been first asked to find the average rate of cooling over the first six minutes. Now, fortunately, they are the points that we have on our curve. So if we want to find the average rate of cooling over the first six minutes, we're looking at what the temperature is at six minutes, which is 42. We're taking away what it started as, and we've got six minus zero on the bottom, just like we're working out the gradient of that line. So it's as if we have got a line there that we've joined up um, at zero and at six, what we call the secant of the curve. Uh, so we've joined that up and we're finding the gradient of that line. So when we do that, we've got 42 take 17, oh, take 97, sorry. So we get negative 55 over six. So we get negative um, nine and I can change that to a fraction if I want, um, but I can, or I can just round it to um, approximately negative nine point um, one seven and that will be degrees Celsius per and we've got minutes as our time so our answer there we can do that or we can change that to the fractional form and we would get um, one sixth there for the point one six six recurring so we could have nine and one six then it says by drawing a tangent to the curve, estimate the rate of cooling at t equals six. So we've got our t equals six here. We're looking at this curve, drawing in what we think looks like the tangent line there. So I've drawn in a line that I think looks like the tangent. Obviously, if you've got this kind of question in an exam, we're gonna, as teachers have to mark, depending what line you've drawn in there. So could have a range of different answers. We tend to hate these ones because that means harder marking to do. We have to work out what you've done. So we want to find the rate of cooling at t equals 6. Estimate that using this line. So I'm going to look along my line and see if I've got any that go, that like cross on um, like the grid lines there so that I can get a better um, estimate of what those values are on that line. Um, looking at that, I don't really have any that look great. So I'm going to go for um, maybe estimate where it crosses down here. So that looks like about 14.5. So then that would be 14.25. And this is where we're obviously having to, we're estimating. So um, we can get a range of answers there. Um, then we've got our first one over here. I might try and estimate where that is. So I've got, if that's 60 and that's 80, this is 70 there. And probably that's um, 75. So probably around 72. Um, that we're starting at. So I've got um, my um, x is 0 and my y is 72. So then looking at the average, uh, like the gradient between those two points, um, I've got on the top 72 take 0, uh, 0 take 72, so I get negative 72 over 14.25 take 0 is just 14.25. So then I can pop that in my calculator, negative 72 divided by uh, 14.25 and I get about um, negative 5.05 and that'll be degrees Celsius per minute. So, sorry that went off the page again. Um, so there's my estimate there. Obviously everyone's going to get a different estimate depending where they draw their line in. So I'm going to leave that video there. I'm going to start a new one for the next question.